This is Jason with Glitch in the System. Today we are going to work on the Find My Seat quiz from Udacity's front end web developer course in the JavaScript section. So, what this quiz is asking us to do is use a for loop, and actually, it wants us to use a nested for loop to print out different combinations of seat numbers. So, this is the first number is going to be a row, and then the second number is going to be a seat number. So, row 0, seat 0, row 0, seat 1 and then all the way down to row 25, seat 99. So let's go ahead and start working on that. I'm gonna grab the starter, paste it into Visual Studio Code, and then let's do our first four. So first thing we need to do is create a variable for our incrementer, or our, our, our counter uh, variable. So let's just use x, so for x, actually, let's make it easier. So for row equals, so we're going to start at, looks says zero, and then for row, we're going to go all the way up to 25. So we want row as long as it's less than or equal to 25, and then we need to increment row. So that we do that with plus plus. All right. And let's just go ahead and print this out to the console to see what we get. Oops, not X. It's row. All right. Copy, paste, test run. All right, so we have 1 through 25. So that is all the row numbers printing out. But we need the row and seat number combination. So in order to do that, we need another for loop. So what that means is that when it gets to row zero, we want it to go in and for every seat in row zero, we need to print out the row, the current row, plus all the seats in there. So let's see what this looks like. For let's call it seat equals starting at zero again. So seat is less than or equal to, so we're going up to 99. And then seat plus plus, so same sort of thing. And then that's pretty much it. So we just need to toss this guy into here. So right now we're printing out row, but we need to put a dash in there. And also, oops, don't forget our plus to concatenate and then C. So you can see it's going to go through. So it's going to hit row zero and then it's going to go hit seat zero. So seat zero, zero should print out. Then it's going to loop through here again. Zero, one should print out, loop through here again. And then all the way until seat is no longer less than or equal to 99. Then it's going to bounce back up to here, set this to one. Then it's going to do seat 10, 11, 199, and then go back up to here and do 2. So repeat the process. So let's go ahead and print this, or copy this and paste this, and test it. So let's see, 0, 0, and then we should get all the way down to 25-99. Should be the last one. And yes, we do. So that is it. Let's submit. And that's a pass. All right, hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.